So this is the process I go through when I'm taking my GKI. So I have a little bag, which is the LifeSmart bag. It has my little machine. I have my Lancet. Load that up. I always start with the um, keto one, the ketone one. Uh, so I plug him in, making sure that the channel actually says ketone. So you can see that. And then we go through the little pores. Look in the finger. Boop. Draw some blood. Sometimes can be tricky. Mm, make sure it's enough, otherwise it just doesn't drop down the thingy. Let's say we are at. It's always a game when you start doing this piece. Um, not expecting it to be too high in the ketone levels. 0.3, we'd like to be at 0.5, obviously, if we want to be in a ketosis state. So, but that's all good. I'm not currently hammering down the ketosis path. I am definitely in a cycling um, stru structure. So I like to cycle in and out of ketosis. I find it works better for me. Um, and then I move on to my glucose testing. Sometimes I have to re-prick my finger, which is very annoying. That's okay. We'll see if it come out. Oh, still there. <laughs> it's kind of weird, I know. I'm gonna make sure I don't wanna have to prick it again. Yes, I was done. I have had a coffee this morning with cream. So my um, glucose is still pretty high uh, from a coffee with cream. I like to keep my glucose under five. Um, and then you actually just plug these numbers into a nice little calculator. I use the carb manager on my phone. It's an app and you can actually record um, your glucose and your ketones and it works out your GKI for you.